Good morning guys. I hope we're all okay. Ignore the absolute state of me. Today I have a vlog and it's potentially going to be the start of our moving vlogs because I, I need to start getting this content sorted because I feel like it's going to help give me that kick up the butt that I need to get the house sorted. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Megan and I just make random videos here on YouTube. If you're not new here, welcome back. It's great to have you again. So long story short, Alex, my partner and I, we are moving. We are trying to buy, trying being the keyword, to buy our first home together. We have rented the last two places. It's not an easy process. I don't know a single person whose house buying situation has gone super smoothly and it is getting a little bit complicated because I'm probably just gonna have to explain Anna because it's gonna have to be explained at some point so if this is going to be moving vlog number one i'm gonna to have to explain it so very very quickly my other half alex he is in the military which means we do get moved around a lot this was our first proper posting we got sent to norfolk three years ago alex requested to leave early it got rejected and we i think he was extended for about a year and a half i went and got a new job was really enjoying it and then we found out we were moving i was like Great. And it is what we originally wanted, so I can't complain, but he's got a new post in and he starts in September, which is now only a month away. So we're trying to buy our first home. Not going very, very well. The house that we're buying potentially needs a bit of work doing to it, which would mean that Alex will be moving to his new base to start his new post soon. I would then be here in Norfolk by myself and we obviously would be paying for everything here. He'd be paying for everything there, which isn't much, but it's still two separate places. And then if the house sale went through, we'd then end up taking on a third property kind of we'd end up paying for three different places which we can't afford it's too expensive so we came up with the plan that we are going to try and move into married quarters or move on to the patch i think it's called a load of different things but if you're military on the base they have singles accommodation which is where alex was going to move potentially until we bought the house or they have houses for families for couples and things like that back in the day you were only allowed to move there if you were married but because not many people get married anymore they're trying to keep up with the times you are allowed to move in but you still have to prove you're in a long-term relationship blah, blah 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 so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to buy one property and trying to request to move into another property. It's not going very well. We were hoping that we would have heard on Monday that there was a house for us on the base, but we found out yesterday, which was Tuesday, that the application still hasn't gone through, so a little bit stressful. So we have a lot to do. We've been packing up the house for the past few months. As soon as we find out we were moving, we're like, we need to start getting our lives together because we own way too much stuff. There is just crap in every corner of this house. Most of it doesn't get used. We're massive hoarders. We both have huge amounts of hobbies. I've got a small business and I'm trying to set up another one. So we've been packing up here and there. The house is absolute chaos because some things are packed, some things aren't, some things have just been pulled out, ready to go to charity. It's not looking good. And one of the rooms I've been putting off for well since we found out some months ago is my office it is a disaster every single time i've gone to film this video i've started it and then more shit's just been thrown in here just it's been a bit of a dumping ground and i need to get started i wasn't going to show you a before because i'm highly embarrassed but i am because i feel like i need to see a before and an after <laughs> feel free to judge me because i'm severely judging myself oh my god <laughs> it's just rubbish everywhere literally the biggest disaster ever but yeah it's not looking good is it so we need to get something done i'm sorry that was a huge long introduction i won't be able to do all this in one day because i've got to go to work in a short amount of time and i am working until very late the next two days so wish me luck i think the first thing i'm going to do is new shop that i'm working on i've got a lot of stuff made up and ready for that already what i think i'm going to do is get all that together and start packing that up because i don't necessarily need any of that yet that sounds like a good idea Hello. So the joys of working in a very tiny house. I've just pulled a few bits out that were in the office, so including my chair. The first few things I could see that were for the new business that I'm not going to need is just now here. I just had a phone call from the estate agent. <laughs> like I said, we think the house needs work. We don't know what extent the work needed is going to be that made no sense but we need to peel the carpets back and check the flooring basically <laughs> and we don't think well we're hoping it's not going to need the work doing we're hoping it's just going to need some like vents putting in it could also be completely ruined which is a very expensive job we're not too sure we've been trying to get builders down there because we're luckily to have family who are builders who live in the area to go and have a look but they're all on holiday at the minute so we're having to ask other family to go down instead because me and alex are going to have to go so our appointment was saturday and we were going to have to go peel the floor back, take some photos, videos, whatever, and send them to the builders to see if they could give us like a quote, 
does it need the work does it not that's an hour and a bit drive that we now don't have to do because our family a couple of our family members are going to go tomorrow but i hadn't yet cancelled the appointment so my estate agents just phoned us to say just a heads up but we think the seller and the vendor he's going to be with you on saturday he wants to be the one to do the viewing of course he does because i think we're going to have some issues with the seller might not do he might be a great guy we don't really know but i was like i'm so sorry i was actually going to cancel that because we've got family members who are coming tomorrow instead this is their names blah 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 we got a very interesting email from the seller it was sent to our solicitors i shouldn't laugh because i don't want to be disrespectful but at the same time alex and i were like are you having a laugh like is this a joke the house the new one similar to the one we're in now is running off heating oil so it's not gas it's oil so you have a big oil tank you get that filled <laughs> and I still I, it makes me laugh I shouldn't laugh but the seller has had oil delivered to the house because it's his house and he's forgot to cancel his order of the oil we don't own it we've not asked for him to put oil in the tank like it's none of our business at all and he's trying to bill us for it we don't own the house yet we didn't ask him to do the oil we we didn't arrange for this to happen but he's now trying to bill us because he forgot to cancel it he was like right well they could pay for it what like no that makes no sense so in the email i was like absolutely not we are not paying for that and i also said i am not responsible for telling this growing ass man to cancel his oil delivery so i just said to alex then i have a feeling that he wants to like meet us so he can probably give us shit over the fact that i've said no i'm not paying paying for the oil and obviously if we've said that we think the house is going to need work doing he's probably going to want to be there to be like uh, no it doesn't so yeah i'm kind of glad i'm not dealing with that i have so much elastic i need to try and make it as small as possible so it's easy to pack but i've got a bunch of macrame things that aren't quite finished i've got some finished ones so all of this just needs to be packed up because i'm not going to be needing it for a while i'm thinking because i've got these really cute little crates i've got so many of them so i'm probably going to keep things in here and then put all these in a box stack i've got a bunch of the finished wristlets here then i've got macrame wristlets which all the macrame items can go in there this is a nice big one so i'm probably going to put the actual few macrame rolls i do have in there they should fit we'll see got scrunchies in this one and then i have a bunch of concrete pieces i have so much these are finished these were varnished because i did take these with me to a fair these are some little moon decor items so i think these ones i'm going to wrap up and then the ones that aren't done they're more like testers i don't want them to go to waste but it's quite a lot to bring with me so i might just shove them in a box and if they survive they survive my little sign i'm getting a bit overwhelmed already and i've not even started yet got a box there's no room in this house off i think it's because it's got i don't know if you can see like a random puncture hole in it but it's really stiff to get off that bag's pretty full of fabric so i might put that in a bodkin that can go in with the elastics so those are the same size a squash <laughs> come here you. he's obsessed with this room but he's not allowed in this room because he eats the toxic plants that are in this room this is where we're up to with the bubble wrap it was huge when i got this so we've used quite a lot of it so i might have to order another one because we still have so much of the house to pack up We've still got more decorative pieces that need packing up. I've got more of the kitchen stuff. I did do some of the kitchen stuff. I'll put it in here. It was like some of the spooky mugs that we own because I have so many spooky mugs, like so, so many. packaged up a couple of days ago. I don't know if this is a good idea. Hello. Hey girl. Hey. Hello. Oh god, dusty allergies. 
is this is the box so far. I think I'm going to pad it out with some of these bits of fabric and I've also decided I'm just going to pack this because this is just decor from my office. That'll do. So we've still got a little bit of space here, that's probably fine. I need to utilise this space. Boom, sorted. So I am getting very overwhelmed. <laughs> I've barely even done anything. I think this is why I'm struggling so much to pack this house. So I think I'm going to do, because it's also very hot today, it's very humid. I think I'm just going to put a YouTube video on, take a deep breath. I'm going to pack away craft things I don't use. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of them because I'm planning on using them in the future. But I don't necessarily need them for either of the shops. So the best bet is definitely just give that a sand and then just paint over it. I'm absolutely sweating after that. I might go and get some lunch on. Ew, I'm so sweaty. I have made a very small amount of progress. I do still have a short amount of time before I do need to go to work. So I think my best bet is just go get some... I can't believe that wall looks so bad. I think the best bet is just to go and get some lunch and then come back upstairs, pack or start packing a box of stuff, like the craft stuff that I've put out there. I will quickly show you the bits and then maybe spend a short amount of time tidying up a few little bits, just making piles of whatever just so it looks a little bit better and I feel like I've done a bit more and then I've got a bit of housework to do so just things like washing up a bit of tidying and cleaning so I've got to get that done before I go to work like Alex just said to me then because I said I feel like I'm not getting anywhere because I'm just standing getting stressed and not actually doing anything and being overwhelmed he said small progress is obviously a lot better than no progress so I just need to remember that so here's the pile of some of the stuff i've got so far that can get packed but i'm glad i got that box done because it's again better than nothing i'm pretty sure i do have my box still for my sewing machine i need to find that i'm going to show you what it looks like oh bit wonky we're getting there so i'm going to show you the state of what it still looks like there's so many like little niggly bits on the floor so it looks so gross and so bad but it's progress so this is how we're looking at the minute see what i mean by these little, like tiny little bits everywhere it's so gross this is everything i've got outside that's going to get packed obviously that's just rubbish so ignore that but all these little bits could do with getting packed i've got a few bits down here that i'm going to get rid of i'm feeling a little bit better so <laughs> i think that was maybe like five ten minutes i didn't 
film because I just quickly started not throwing stuff everywhere but very quickly just putting all the little tiny niggly bits that I just can't be bothered going through and I don't really have the time to go through in some of the boxes and just moving them out of the way. I've just rearranged a little tiny bit I will show you and I've hoovered because all the little bits of thread, paper, they were really starting to frustrate me because it was making it feel so dirty and gross. We have a clean floor space, you will notice the piles of shit just all around it but it's made me feel so much better so let me just show you. Can we see? This clear floor space. Enough room for my crocs. <laughs> so we've still got loads of crap on the trolley. We've still got a box of crap down here, which is fine. It's fine. But we have some floor space, which I'm very happy about. As you can see, there's a bunch of crap sort of here. But I feel like this section looks worse than it is because a lot of these crates are pretty much empty they're just like again niggly bits that's a bit of makeup under there i need to go through these are mostly empty mostly empty a lot of these are empty but i've just moved this box here it was actually over here with loads of crap on it so i've just moved it here that's one of the first boxes i packed it's like decor and books a lot of these are empty so i think what i'm going to do because that huge pile out there is absolutely massive get some of that packed and then i'm probably going to leave it here for today simply for the fact that i still need to do some quick housework and then i need to go to work alex has gone to work and he hasn't messaged me an update so i'm going to presume we still don't have a house which is really frustrating in Good morning guys, so this is day two of this vlog. Got up, having breakfast and everything, got showered, got ready. Oh, I have started going through some of my clothes. I pulled some of them out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a few little outfits that I really like and I wanna wear or get photos of. Keep them ones aside. Once I'm not too fussed about, I am gonna start packing. Even though this video originally was gonna be about this office, I think I got very overwhelmed yesterday by it. And there are so many other parts of the house that need packing. So I think we've got someone coming today to pick up some old slabs, which was from our decking that we made we ripped that up this weekend and then alex has been clearing it ready to reseed and regrass the area i think i took a time lapse actually i'll leave it in here enjoy it's just me pure struggling because i've had bad knees and bad back for the last couple of weeks trying to like pull the decking up with alex's help mostly <laughs> so i'll leave that in here Obviously, as well as packing, we are trying to undo some of the stuff we did to the house. Nothing major, so like them things that I ripped down off the wall yesterday, that's gonna have to be sanded and painted over. We've got rid of the skate ramp. bit by bit we're getting there so i am back in my office today and even though i'm potentially not going to pack away a bunch of the stuff in here i'm going to be going through some of my makeup because there's a drawer here and my desk i don't remember the last time i actually used anything that's in there i've got makeup brushes that i don't use regularly i can't say that word regular regularly but i still use them every once in a while so i'm going to give them a clean and then i'm going to pack them because it's as you can tell very very rare that I wear makeup these days. I'm gonna go through them as well because there's probably some that I don't actually need. So for example there's a lipstick holder here which is very gross and very dirty. So this is the drawer that I'm talking about. Some of it's brand new, some of it's never been opened and some of it is just really old. I'm gonna pull it all out and go for it all. This is what I've very quickly just organised it into. So we've got random tools, we've got a load of lip product and that's 
nowhere near the whole collection there's definitely more because i use ones regular regularly why can't i say that word so that's a lot of lip products we need to go through this is eyes so eyeliner mascara this is brows this is random skin stuff so foundation or skin products these are like body stuff i think that's eye makeup remover got like a little benefit kit one year from my mum and i've just never used it random body spray glitter thing palettes some eyelashes, skin stuff, yep. And these are two random hand creams. So annoyingly enough, my battery is already flashing. So I'm gonna go through this, put my, well, put my camera on charge, go through everything. And most of this is probably gonna be getting rid of, but then some of it is unopened packaging. So for example, this is obviously a foundation that's never been opened. It's obviously a hell of a lot darker than my skin because I'm so pale, but this is a backup in case I decide I want a tan. <laughs> This is all being kept. This is the stuff I use pretty much every day. Makeup brushes that I need to keep up clean. All stuff that was pretty much new and hasn't been used yet. Some of this has just come out of here. You never know when you're gonna need lashes. This I might get rid of because I don't use them. And I think they just look, like look how gross they are. I use these palettes every time I do my makeup. These two I'm getting rid of because I remember this one doesn't blend well as whole, neither does this one. I don't use sponges, woo. Then these as well. These are my embroidery scissors. Need to keep them. I don't really use makeup sponges and I don't know the last time they were clean. <laughs> these two are new, so I'm going to keep them. Don't use these brushes. Some of them are really like wobbly and break. So they're going. And then these are just old grim lipsticks that hurt. some of them have just melted vial don't use so all oh, that's getting rid of this is where i need to keep on top of stuff so now that i've done that i need to straight away get rid of this so it's not just sat there i'm going to give all of these brushes a clean so we are getting very messy so my plan is as you can see i've took a bunch of stuff out and packed it but i'm gonna what i think because i've been going through this taking all this out and packing it i'm gonna take the drawers out i've also got my kill star suitcase there so i'm gonna take that out and then i'm gonna start putting the boxes that's taking space up in the bedroom in there because we currently can't really move in here like it's just it's just absolute chaos it makes me feel stressed and sick okay so that's a little bit better that's my killstar coffin suitcase there i've just taken the drawers out and the suitcase obviously and i've just give it a hoover and a quick clean and there are still a few bits in there so i'm probably gonna put a few packed boxes in there just to give me a bit more floor space because we don't have enough room as it is let alone with boxes everywhere because the plan is basically when we do move ignore the state of everything that's around me and the lighting and everything i'm currently on my phone when we do move because we are planning on moving into one house and just sort of living out of suitcases and boxes for a short while before we can then move into our house that's hopefully the plan i thought it makes more sense because if if they do have a house for us on the patch on married quarters or whatever chances are it's going to be a very small house like a very very small house so it made more sense to me to have the suitcase as storage so have that just shoved against a back wall filled with boxes and then boxes can go in front of it and then we just pop a clothes rail next to our bed or whatever and anything that we desperately need just have hung up on there because obviously if you use a wardrobe you need to then have the space to open the doors and to use it so i just think the best thing would be to just use that as storage for now and just live from like a little clothes rail or something i think that makes more sense to me saturday i didn't film anything yesterday because i was in work all day i was coaching all day until the evening <laughs> but in between coaching i had a little break so i came home and we had a guy come around and he looked at all our stuff and he's gonna sort us a quote for what he thinks it's gonna cost to move everything like to hire a van and stuff i didn't know that that was how it was done i thought you just went online and selected like that van will do we've had a very lazy day i'm pretty sure it's already gone like midday <laughs> We've had a lying so we both needed it. Alex is currently filling the car up because we've got quite a lot to do today. We're going to take some stuff to the skip. We've got some stuff that's going to the charity shop. We've got quite a lot of 
bits that are going so we're going to go and do that i think today and we're going to see what other packing fun we can get done but in between at some point i'm going to have to edit this video because i didn't upload it on friday because i'm going to start uploading on sundays because it made no sense to keep uploading on a friday when i'm currently at work when the video goes live i'd rather be able to like see it's gone live make sure it's gone live okay and as of after this sunday so tomorrow i won't be working on Sundays anymore. It makes more sense to upload on Sundays when I can be at home and check it's gone live. So I need to get this video sorted, edited and everything. Let's see what we get done today. Here we got Henry and a friend. He's wild by the way. And he's been getting used to us, which is a shame because we're going to be moving soon. And I'd love to bring him with us, but sadly he's a little wild farm cat. He's been here since he was a kitten. This is stuff that needs getting rid of. We've just sort of left it outside last night because it's been really sunny. It doesn't really matter, but I think this is going to the charity shop. This is my outfit of the day. This mirror needs a clean, but no, no, no. My go-to is literally a long flowy skirt, a t-shirt and some chunky boots. And I've got my health flower bag as well. This quality is beautiful. So you might be able to see me there, but I've just sorted some washing. I'm currently editing. Got some snacks, a little vegetarian gummy mix from Aldi. Got tea. Yes, I leave the tea bag in because I like it quite strong. It doesn't look very strong currently, so I leave the tea bag in usually to brew. Let me know if any of you do that or is that really weird? And I also have my Mystic and Luna tumbler. I absolutely love this. I do have a discount code. I will leave it linked down below and stuff if you want to go and check out their stuff. They do like jewellery and stuff. They're amazing. So it's quite a few hours later now, but I've basically just been editing. Just shout it to Alex. <laughs> do you want to hand move in some of that wood? Oh, there's friend again. Hello, buddy. You're so cute. Why are you so cute? Hey, me. That's a beautiful boy. I said to Alex, uh, did you want a hand with moving some of the wood and stuff? And he was like, I've done it already. <laughs> I was like, oh, amazing, thank you. So he's been and taken just like old scrap bits of wood uh, to the burn pile, which is ready for bonfire and I. We took a load of stuff to charity, a load of stuff to the skip, which is a shame, but you've got to get rid of stuff sometimes. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take you to, like, I'm not going to do a house tour because it's just embarrassing. I'm going to just go around to some parts of the house and show you what we're dealing with at the minute. We've made a lot of progress. So here's a bit of the situation in the living room. So there's a few boxes packed there. These are the cat's tunnels and toys that they still play with. I'm dreading having to pack my little haunted house. I need to get that done actually. I might do that today. We then also have the corner here. Everything here, well not everything, but a lot of the stuff here came out of the little cupboard there. This cat tower is gross. That's not coming with us. They're getting fully nice built ones when we move. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this shelf yet because it is a little bit ruined and it's just full of like random niggly bits I need to go through. But that's another corner. So it turns out I had actually filmed me packing some of these boxes and a bunch of our decor and things. So we're going to throw it back a few weeks ago and just enjoy some of these clips of me packing up all of those items and then we'll jump back to today. This is maybe like 10% of our decor. Yeah, we have quite a lot. Bobos, please don't jump at me right now. What? What? Are you just eating? that is two more boxes done i still have a few bits that i haven't packed yet Then the office, which we saw a little bit of, still loads in here needs sorting, which I'm completely aware of. I've packed a bunch of the sewing stuff away into the sewing box. We know where my sewing machine box is, so I might dig that out and get that packed, because having it out is just tempting me to sew. <laughs> There's not much on there, but it's just niggly bits. 
we'll deal with that another time. In here we're not going to talk about but a lot of this is packed. Then we've got a huge bag here. This is like bedding, cushions, because I have a lot of spooky cushions. And this is my Killstar suitcase ready for us to like start packing because we're going to live out of suitcases for a short while. And then this is the mess in the corner. <laughs> It's so much more organised than it was. These three boxes have stuff that I'm still trying to sell. Check out my vintage, I'd be very grateful, <laughs> please. In the wardrobe, we've got, yeah, a couple of boxes in there because they were just taking up space over there. So I just thought I'd shove them in there. That is pretty much it that I have update wise. I am going to be continuing straight away probably next week with some more moving vlogs and packing and things. So wish us luck. We still have so much more to do, so much more progress. We still don't know where we're going to be living, which is great. Tomorrow, last shift ever at my Sunday job, which I'm I'm so excited about. I'm going to miss everyone so much that I work with so, so much. They're such an amazing group of people and some really good friends. But the job itself, I'm not going to miss at all. I'm looking forward to having a full weekend with Alex. Just quickly before I do go, I can't remember if I said this yet, but we do have an update on the house. I think I mentioned that some of our family members were going to go and take some photos and let us know if it needs the work doing. Luckily, it doesn't, which is really exciting. So we don't need to renegotiate the price. There is still work that needs doing. The garden is like a jungle now, which is quite scary. And then on top of that, there's like odd bits here and there work-wise that it needs doing, but it's not going to be thousands and thousands of pounds, which is a huge relief. So we've just said, right, we're going to continue with the sale. So that's where we're up to we just need to find out if there is a house for us on the patch on the married quarters and just see what happens that's the update but i'm going to leave it here for today so thank you so much for watching let me know if you enjoy these sorts of videos but thank you for watching anyway please give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all my social media is linked down below as well so feel free to head on over there and check me out and keep up to date with me over there but apart from that i will see you next week in another one